Okay, our next um, presenter is John Eggiato from Hillsborough, and he's going to present the award for air. I'm here tonight to celebrate a woman of outstanding character and conviction, Ann Christian Yadamo. Ann is a district, district committee woman, an active member of the Hillsborough Democratic Organization, having served as secretary during my first term as chair. She's also actively involved in the Hillsborough Democratic Alliance, the social arm of the party in Hillsborough. And she works tirelessly on our fundraising efforts. But there is so much more to Anne. And as Margaret was, was saying, reading the program, but I, I can't let you go home tonight without knowing about this because this is, this is amazing stuff. Anne was born in South Africa and was raised in the era of apartheid. In Soweto, South Africa, an area which was termed a black location, she led a demonstration against the government's ban on persons of color transfusing their blood to white persons. She carried a banner reading, Disease Knows No Color, which summarized the nascent resistance. resistance. Later, Anne spent a summer at that word wrong, his name wrong, Basu, Basuto Land. There she worked with a physician who served her patients by twin engine aircraft and trips up steep mountainsides by horse and mule, sometimes returning down narrow roads in pitch darkness. Leaving South Africa, Anne immigrated to, the, to America in 1958. Falls in her pocket. Anne achieved a Master's of Science from Fordham University and a master degree from Albert Einstein College of Medicine. She served her medical residency at Columbia Presbyterian and went on to be director of the emergency department at Crawford Long Hospital in Atlanta. But being a dedicated emergency department physician and internist wasn't enough for Anne. Anne taught Red Cross courses in newborn child care to new parents, has devoted countless hours working for Habitat for Humanity, worked in the Harlem soup kitchens, provided support services to abused women, and even assisted those in New Orleans affected by Hurricane Katrina. I should note that Anne found time to marry Amadeo Yadama, Professor Emeritus at City College, and is a proud mother of four children, as well as two foster children. She also has four grandchildren that she adores. <laughs> Anne continues to lead a life of achievement and discovery. She's an example. It is with great honor that I present Anne Christian Yadama, the Eleanor Roosevelt Award. to me that they were the party that cared about people. And I think that's still true today. I'm very proud of that. I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank the Hillsborough Democratic Organization and the Somerset County Federation of Women Democrats for this honor. It's really very much of an honor. I'm really delighted. Thank you so much. 
I'd also like to thank my chief, John Bertiotti, for his warmth and his support always to the people that I work with in the health world and the health organization. He is always behind us, he's always supporting us. And I'd also like to thank Anne Ironi, who is a dedicated and wonderful head of the Democratic Alliance in our team and does a wonderful job without exception. We're very grateful to both of you. I just really wanted to say a very few words that probably have been said before in meetings like this. And that is that um, I wanted to talk about two wonderful women, which we've already talked a little about tonight, and that is Eleanor Roosevelt and Hillary Clinton. But I want to take a little bit of a different path and talk about the similarities between those two people. Uh, Eleanor Roosevelt came from another era, as we know, and we still fondly remember her for her hat and the typewriter that she dragged around everywhere with her. And contrast that, I'd like to contrast that with Hillary Clinton, who today has the pantsuit that we all have so affectionately attached to. I'm always interested in what colors she'll turn up in next. But, but she carries around an iPhone and has the internet at her, at her fingertips. So it's interesting, but they're very similar in many other ways. One of the ways is that they were both first ladies, outstanding first ladies. They were, they were people who moved from some sense of support, subordination in their husband's eyes to become iconic people on, on the world stage. Who basically, who basically, who basically became heroines. Both of them. And I think we owe them a great deal for that. Um, they also had marital problems, as we all know. But they arose they after that. They ended up becoming wonderful mothers and grandmothers. And I think they were an inspiration to us all for that. The, um, Eleanor Roosevelt was someone who became an iconic woman on the world stage, as, as, did, as did Hillary Clinton. Most of them traveled the world in search of peace. In search of peace, were looking for some solutions to the turmoil that surrounded them. Both of them traveled that route in time to um, Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor, I'm sorry, I'm, this is a little bit uh, hard for me. Eleanor Roosevelt um, helped to found Israel and also had her sympathies with the conditions of the Palestinians. So did, did um, Hillary, as the uh, state secretary, could do that as well. Both of them shared characteristics of empathy and generosity of spirit. And still, we, we look at Hillary, who is so often vilified so relentlessly. Now she has emerged from that and remains dedicated wonderful lady that she is, deserving of us really working for her. I think we're getting to that point where we will be working for her. Both of them felt, as far as human rights is concerned, that women's rights are human rights, and human rights are women's rights. And I think that's one thing we need to work for today, for that. I'm personally with them both, and I'm 
and I am definitely with Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> Volumes that you, the worst public speaker in the world, and your your persona and your history speak volumes, dear. <laughs> Don't you worry, we want this, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Pretty amazing.